I'm back, everyone. You may be in a situation where your date and time settings are just not changing on your iPhone. Now, this can happen for really a couple of main reasons. But the first thing I'd recommend doing is to actually make sure that you're even changing the right, you know, specific date and time of your settings. So you want to hop into your settings application like this. You want to click on General, which is right here. You want to click on Date and Time, which is right here. And at this point, you can go ahead and change it a couple of different ways. Now you can have it set automatically. And as long as your phone has some sort of connection to it, so as long as it's, you know, connected to Wi-Fi or data or anything like that, it has a cell connection, then it should set automatically. If you're on airplane mode, it's not going to work out because, or if you're in really, really bad service area, it may not work out either. So setting automatically, it will detect where your iPhone is and it'll go ahead and change it automatically. Now, if that still doesn't work, what you can do is turn off set automatically and you can change the time zone to wherever you are manually. So let's say I was in New York or whatever, well, I can go and change it to New York and it'll go ahead and change it to that specific area. So you just want to go ahead and find the time zone that you're in and that should be able to fix it there as well. Now, if for some reason this is still not working, you can toggle on and off set automatically and that could fix it as well. But you may also need to update your iPhone. So what you want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings like this. You want to scroll down until you see general, which is right here. You want to go ahead and then click on software update, which is right up there. And your phone should automatically detect the most recent version of software for you. So all you have to do here is click install or download and install. And that should be able to install the latest version of that software as well. For some reason, that still doesn't work. You may want to go ahead and power down your iPhone. So you can go and hold down your iPhone just like this, the power buttons that you need to, not those buttons. That's just increasing the volume. But you want to go and hold down those buttons like this, slide to power off, and that could end up fixing it for you as well. If that still doesn't fix it, you may want to factory reset your phone, power it off a couple more times, see if there's another update. But typically, those are the main ways to go and fix this issue. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.